decided to drive a bit, almost over an hour, and have a breakfast here. And because we were passing and we spot a shop, and I showed you that, I got some yarn, and there is another craft knitwear thingy after breakfast we're going to go over that too. We are in the place that you could do one thing. You could probably see over here, you could walk along the cliffs. That's the Burren Way, and we did that. So I'll try to put links down below. Check that Burren Way. Um, it could be on Burren this channel. Burren Way, yes. It's called Burren Way. So I'll try to link it. I'm not sure it would be this channel or whatever, but we went and uh, I could try to put that up because some, some of you are planning to come in and visit Ireland. So if you're in Dulin and we will showed you Dulin and you can have a coffee, you can actually stay there. And this is a pier and over here as you could see you have some places that you can buy a ticket. Either to Iron Islands, you have three, uh, small, medium and large. <laughs> uh, and uh, oh yeah, so, so I'm just driving over here to show you. <clears throat> So we, we're off the season, so obviously it's closed, and uh, this is the website, or uh, versus, there is a website, yeah, Dolan Ferry, all Dolan Ferries, um, and you can go from here to those islands, and maybe we'll drive so you can see a bit, or you can uh, go under the cliffs. We never went to see cliffs, and we were hoping that maybe they're open, but not really. Um, so you could see. There. So as you can see, you can see a small land over there, far away, hopefully you can see it. And that's the small island and you have to go, I think used to, and I'm not saying if it's true, but used to it took us two hours and there was a one ferry that the name was... The name was Happy Hooker. Yes, Hooker, that's how we call it, say it. Although Seb's now saying that they may have new boats and it could be faster. Um, the other way to get over there it's from Galway. So if you're at Galway, you can check things out over there too. Uh, so yeah, we're going to what? Maybe what I'm wearing because you know it's knitting channel at the end. So uh, you could see my new design. This is lights and twigs shawl and. Um, it's a DK slash worsted, so you can check it out. Then I have my full of minis hat. This is one of the three I have done so far. So I need to this Sunday maybe sit down and plan my minis. And this year will be something completely different. I'm going to see what I have in my stash and do it from the stash. I've never done that before, so never something new. And I have a keys a sweater, like keys to the door. Keys, plural. Um, sweater and this yarn that I used over here is 100% Polish wool so this is the most scratchy wool ever um, but I'm happy and I have some still and we shall see how that goes anyway with all my stash and I'm hoping to also go through my stash and maybe do that with you which shall see when if you're interested to see my stash comment down below subscribe like and all those things And we're coming back from the pier. Music shop, sweater outlet, vintage craft, sweater shop, coffee. And we had our coffee over here in that inn and you've seen the view from those windows. And they're changing over here, it'd be something new over here too. 
and now we're going slightly up and on the left we'll have some craft shop that has been open lately so we shall see what that is about so now something new it says irish crafts it looks fancier so we shall see what's in there a little piece of ireland okay so i was inside there so it's more like of a souvenir shop however i've noticed cool and you can get so uh, and you can get over there um, some Donegal yarn and you can have fingering or even almost oh, okay. um a bit maybe they have more uh, but there are a few colors and it's a lovely lovely um, shop what else uh, you can have a cappuccino over there there are a few chairs so uh, yeah worth seeing if you're interested and you're looking for something to grab and take it with you home just in case you want to stay Ireland. so for sure if we had someone with us visiting, I would say, check it out. So here it is, Cleves of Maha, and you have parking over here. Pay for parking, and once you pay for your parking, you can enter for free and walk that way. Some people park slightly earlier and walk over here and yeah that's Cliff of Moher and over here this is the way to go to La Hinge and that's a beach uh, quite popular and one you can go and visit. Okay, so we're still driving and there will be another shop over here near. It's more again souvenir shop. And I remember last time I was here with my sister and my mom and we got ourselves some um, ring that was made some kind of mineral. So something like this. And it's called, just in case, the story of Losconor Stone. Oh no, that's not the name. The Rock Shop. That's the name of the shelf. Check it out, we found something else and I'm going to see and tell you what's inside. And we are in La Hinge, uh, which said there is a beach. We are not going there, um, but I can give you a snips of how things look in the, this town oh yeah check this out Just to tell you, it is 2019. Just to tell you. We are in Kilkee. I hope you enjoyed this snip and it's going to be helpful for someone who's coming to Ireland and wants to go to County Clare. Enjoy!